We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. BFW in prison, host of murderers and worse. What the hell is going on over here? Let's dive in and find Baby out. Baby torturer and murderer. What? Thomas is the commander of post 12226. Maybe this is, this is why a lot of people thought putting a VFW post into prison was a bad idea. In October oh, what? 2023, almost a year ago now. A, a year ago? VFW post was opened. The Platte River VFW post 12226. Boy, over 12,000 posts. Damn. Good job, VFW. Now, post 12226 is out of Sterling, Colorado, but this VFW post, oh, it's not like any other VFW post. Because right. it's out of the Sterling Correctional Facility in Colorado. That Isn't that the, like, the most secure prison in the world? Yeah, let me know in the comment section if I'm right or correct. Not in the world, but in the US. You know what I mean, right? That's right. Let's continue. The VFW is hurting three members so bad that they're going to prison in order to try and recruit veterans not talking about the guards talk about the criminals to join what? their ranks to join our ranks I'm not a part of the vfw right now <sighs> and this would sway yeah. me away from that now right off the rip the post started a little bit of controversy all right rightfully so i would think right and i'd have to say it's probably not hard to be involved in a little bit of controversy when right? the people in the vfw post in prison are convicted murderers <laughs> and what but before what? we get into who's in it and huh? the charges a word from this video's sponsor phew we all have all right let's get to the money with you today let's get to the bread and butter who all right idea let's was that the founder of the vfw post 12226 and the sterling correctional facility well it's state commander carol thomas now carol here has gone a long history 37 years she served in the navy nice that is very respectable she also happens to be a captain oh in the colorado correctional facility and one day she looked around at all these felons and said you know what would give you guys something fun to do while you're killing time killing <laughs> get it because that's what you're here for it would be right. to be in a vfw post start it up that way the vfw here in colorado can collect dues from you and you know get our pockets kind of fat and what? Now, I say that because, well, I'm not just some sort of cynical asshole on the internet who likes to call out bullshit. Because if your heart was in the right place and you wanted to assist veterans and getting out and reconnecting right. with society, some sort right. of rehabilitation, so then when they're out, they get a job or they can work in a VFW. Well, all right. that sounds great, and I would support it. But a large number of the people that are running the VFW in prison are in for life. So what's the so what's the point of them being in that position? They're in for life. They definitely committed some murder and some heinous crimes. But they're there for life. Let's continue. Point. We're just we're giving crims fun time now. Is that yep. what this is? They're not in prison to you know pay for the injustice that they did. You know, taking right. lives out of people, touching kids and such. Hey, no, yo. We've got we've got to give them more fun time there, Captain. I mean, <laughs> State Commander Carol of the VFW, but she wasn't alone. There were other people in Colorado VFW programs that thought that this would be a good idea, like previous VFW Department of Colorado Commander John Keene, who presided over the institution, <laughs> institution oh, of geez. VFW Post 12226. And just so we're not confused here, let me quote Keene. Our motto is no one does more for veterans, Keene said. There are no qualifiers in that. It just says vets. Oh, in no. my mind, a veteran is a veteran. Unless he's deep in your child. Yep. yep. Keen. Then that guy who's your oh. kid. Well, then I would say that you get to lose a little bit of that veteran status. His Facts. duty 214 might say honorable, but his actions would say otherwise. What kind of brotherhood or sisterhood is the VFW when your brothers and sisters are out there stabbing, killing, and ripping folks? And they're exactly. We're, and we can't police them up because they already did the crime. They got to do the time. There are no qualifiers in that. Let me tell you something. Let me show you something. There should absolutely <laughs> be a qualifier, Keen, you big, beautiful, large-hearted, but somewhat retarded guy. <laughs> if you're out there grabbing kids, children, yep. little children's, like under the age of 10, off the street, and then... Hey, yo! Yeah, maybe, maybe you shouldn't be a part of the VFW. 
By the way, there are VFWs out there where if their commanders get a little too drunk at the bar, they're like, hey, listen, you've got a problem. We need you to step down. Oh, but exactly. not this VFW. No, it's almost like a point of pride to say how many teardrop tattoos you got tattooed on your cheek and how many bodies you've been poking in the freaking damn block. Now, the VFW that's crazy article says the vfw post 12226 offers members a chance to give back to their communities through outreach and fundraising i don't know how much money they're fundraising we get right. extra bags of cheetos from the commissary and giving them to kids <laughs> why you had to kids. say that and what community oh are they my god reaching to? they're they're literally locked up i guess the community in the prison ah huh? ah huh? not funny okay i'm gonna keep rolling Sorry. their community rolling. is a community joke, of felons joke. murderers what are we doing here all of that brings us here now okay okay we connected the dots the colorado corrections captain also a commander in the colorado vfw created right. a vfw post in a prison which isn't really going to help rehabilitate anybody because most of these guys are in for life following Facts. that the then commander of all of colorado vfws mr keen is like this is a great idea just because you're in prison doesn't stop your veteran status which Damn, that's, that's i might disagree with and now we're going to talk about the people that are inside vfw post 12226 at the sterling correctional facility in okay. colorado oh my gosh I hope you're ready to write some angry letters to your congressman. Let's hear from Damn. Chuck Garlic real quick. He's a member <laughs> right to the of the congressman. House. What does Chuck got to say? It would be nice if we could do something to make a change, not just for veterans who are incarcerated, but for veterans as a whole. There's a clear connection between PTSD, substance abuse, and criminal behavior in a lot of cases. Wow, it would be okay. great to be able to shed some light on that. PTSD? Is that what got you here, Chuck? Well, let's figure out what got Charles down here in incarceration land. Okay. Charles Garlic killed a 48-year-old man in 2009 by shooting him in an alley with an AR-15. Oh! Don't know why that happened, but I will say this. Of all the people in here, Mr. Garlic is the only one, I think, that should be allowed to participate in a VFW. Why? I'll explain. Because okay. he admitted that he killed the guy. Oh. He admitted, oh, he, he admitted to the crime and he didn't like, oh my God, my PTSD and uh, you know, he didn't play that card. Awesome. He was sorry. He admitted. Oh, he told the police that he made a mistake. He owned up to it. Integrity. Now, nice, I know nice, he nice. killed the guy. Um, but he, he was honest. Not a good look. But if somebody's willing to take the next step into fixing themselves, I don't think he's going to get out anytime soon, but right. that person, Mr. Garlic, could be a turd we can polish. Okay. I mean, if there's somebody that's in for six years because he sold some dope or a person that was doing, right. you know, burglaries or robberies because they had a freaking shitty lifestyle habit, yep. I could understand. Let's rehabilitate those people. There's ways we can save them. But unfortunately, Mr. Garlic is, well, I'll just say the nicest guy in on the list post 12 226 okay move on. the members well we've met one of the members let's start at the top and work our way down post commander thomas stewart hey fella what are you in here for well thomas here was arguing with an 18 month old because i don't know they didn't want to eat their snacks or go to bed and he was like right. all right you know what i should do instead i'm going to take this 18 month old's face and i'm going to slam it into the tile floor hmm wow great guy and Oh my. Then, well, he says the 18 month old then fell down nine carpeted stairs. And after right. calling an ambulance and having the child taken to the hospital, unfortunately, the 18 month old passed away. And he's the commander? G huh? But that's not the end of the story. Not in the you end. See, the child didn't fall down. No. Thomas, this is what Thomas did. Thomas oh, no. took his girlfriend's 18 month old kid and smashed its face into the tile floor, bruising the side of its face and its forehead. So multiple times, Thomas wow. took an 18 year old soft, subtle face and smashed it into tile flooring enough to really bruise and mm, do well, some permanent damage. The kid's head. Oh, but that's not all. You see, while at the hospital, the child was found to have bleeding in the retina. <sighs> Oh. Then a blood clot in the brain. Oh, oh, geez, from falling downstairs. And torn brain tissue. So, in layman's terms, 
Thomas here, once again, took an 18-month-old child, of which right. was not his, his girlfriend's, smashed right. its head into the freaking pavement a couple of times in the home, and then shook the baby so hard that it tore brain tissue in the kid. Now, on top of that, there was also That's scalding so fucking... marks found wow. on the child. And while Thomas said, oh, yeah, I splashed hot water on the baby's button. That was it. You know, right. took care of it. well, doctors would say, no, this baby was intentionally put in boiling, scalding hot water. So baby torturer and murderer Thomas is the commander of post 12 226 in prison. Whatever. People like that should not have children. They should just cut their webbles off. You know what I'm saying? Just cut them off at that point. I'm not sure if it's his kids, but it's probably his girlfriend. He probably was a stepdaddy in the situation. Yeah, throw him in jail or cut his huevos. So he's not going to be able to reproduce. Bro, that's wild. Good job, VFW. But we're just starting at the top here. Let's that was the top? To our junior vice commander. Richard Moreau. Oh, oh, yeah, he's not creepy looking. Well, what did Richard do? Well, he walked into a bar and shot four people. One of huh? which was the doctor that was trying to help the people that were shot, the other three. And he just, you know, executed them. And Damn. he never apologized for it. Instead, he blames all the people that were in there. And when people went to go get a psychological evaluation on him in the middle of court and stuff like that. Right, right, right. They said, no, he's totally, he's okay. He might be blaming all this on PTSD, but no, he's just a horrible narcissist. And Damn. the judge even said, you have zero regret in doing any of this. That's right. The judge at the end of zero. Richard's trial looked at him and said, you are an unapologetic, manipulative piece of shit. You, Damn. Are, you belong in prison. Yep. One of the witnesses to Richard's shooting says, that while he was reloading, he was smiling, loving every minute. Smiling. And transport personnel when moving Richard back and forth. I'm surprised that the police then came and shot his ass up as soon as they responded to the call. Unless he just gave up. I mean, that's a different story. Worth for different arraignments and hearings said that while in transit and passing the sand bar, which is the bar that he killed that guy in and right. shot several others in, Richard said, hey, how about we all get a drink at the sand bar and made some other... I would say dark jokes off color remarks joking oh. about how he shot and killed people in the sandbar. Wow. No integrity. A narcissist murderer. Yep. Who is not apologetic for the people that he killed. We'll make him vice junior commander. Good job, VFW. Oh, I'm losing Blake South watching member. this video, Ryan AC. Kruger. Hey there, Ryan. How are you? What's oh. Ryan in here for? Well, Ryan was selling drugs at a local college and a young lady about 19 years old was buying some weed and ecstasy from him so she could right. sell it to her friends and right. party a little hardy there in college. And right. well, it's not something you should do, young lady. And Ryan here, well, he got a little paranoid one day and thought that the 19 year old female was snitching on him, talking oh. to the police. So what did he do? Well, Ryan here brought himself and a couple buddies to grab this 19 year old female and murder her for the Damn. potential that she might be a snitch. Awesome. A wow, drug dealing okay. murderer, a 19 year old girl. Wow, just starting her life out even though she was, you know, selling a little bit of MDMA to her right. friends in college. Right, right. We should definitely kill her, right, Ryan? He should be in the VFW. I can understand. He just got upset that he was about to get his business all torn down. That's why he killed a 19-year-old college student. That's fucking wow. Good job, VFW. What's it on November? Let's meet Post Service Officer Brandon Allen. Come on, everybody. Post Service Officer. He just looks weird. He's one of those guys. I know y'all can't see it on the YouTube shot of things, but look at this guy. Yeah. Yep. What did Brandon do? Well, Brandon here made a little bit of a whoopsie by breaking into a Colorado school teacher's home and <laughs> her for three Whoa. hours. He tied her up, beat her, suffocated her with the pillow numerous times, huh? repeated her and told her he was going to kill her for over what? three hours. Burglary, kidnapping, unlawful and, and the R word. <laughs> Torture. Oh, this guy. This guy should definitely get a second chance. Nah. Good job, VFW. Oh, and I've saved the best for last. AC, it cannot get worse than that. Can, can it get worse than that? Everybody welcome the post-quartermaster, 
Timothy Alberts. Yeah, wow. Ugh. Well, back in 1982, he served a little bit of time for right. a child. Huh? Oh. Well, that was back in 1982. Oh, but somebody did it again in 1989. Yeah, 1989. Back to back? Decided to f another kid. Got caught for that. But Timothy Alberts here is a changed man. Just because he f***ed a child in 1982 right. and got arrested for it, and then another child in 1989 and got arrested for it, doesn't mean he's a bad person. He did it a third even time? Even though his most current charges are because he and his brother had mounds and mounds of child oh. and children's underwear all throughout his home. You, you disgusting fuck. Not only CP, but that. Yeah, lock him up. A twice convicted child and children's underwear in his house. Wow, these are some stellar people. Good job, VFW. Yeah. Good Great job. fucking job. And here we are. The whole the list. VFW for its brilliant idea to allow a child abuser and murderer. A murderer. Uh -huh. Oh, a psychopathic murderer with yep. zero conscience. A guy who likes to break into houses, torture <laughs> women. Great. Yeah. And a who two kids and then got caught with a boatload of child being kids underwear. Hmm. Wow. So there you have That's it. That's fucking wow. The VFW wild. wants all these guys and their charges in the VFW. These are paying dues members, whatever the frig you want to call them. If I happen to be a post commander of a VFW somewhere, I right. think I would raise hell and say, these sycophants don't represent me. And we they don't, don't represent our veterans in our brotherhood anywhere near our kids you know exactly. what i think i'll do i think i'll leave a link so that you can write a quick little email to the vfw and let them know how you feel about this i'll also put a bunch of links down below so you can read each of these guys stories and maybe send oh, it to God. the vfw while you're writing that little nasty email to them telling them is yeah this, this is really not what you want once again i like most of the vfw i like people in the vfw i think if the vfw wanted to start a vfw in a correctional facility it should be able to assist people that will eventually get, get out, out into the public. not stay Work for life programs making sure that they've got a job rehabilitation giving right. them a community so if they were involved with drugs they don't fall back into that and then become once again trapped in the cycle of drugs arrest prison drugs arrest prison but this isn't where you start probably don't want to start with the guys that are diddling kids best way to support the channel is to buy yourself a shirt e4 mafia shirts everybody loves e4 mafia everybody loves crack house cheapest way to support the channel <laughs> yeah everyone loves the crack house what do you think about this hmm? Hmm? who's your favorite felon huh out of these guys who is your favorite example of what should not be allowed in the vfw or all why of them you shouldn't have a vfw what, what example do we need which one's your favorite is it the 18 month old oh baby i have no smasher? favorites oh, I no no sure no no, really no, 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 no 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 i have no favorites we need to just close it down actually think how we can why my camera come on camera focus focus anyways none of them are my favorite i like him he is on my top They're not of like my us. favorite people. They're not like us. All right. See you next time, weirdos. See you next time, weirdos. See you next time, because that's... That should this not be old allowed. Crack House, a new episode is coming out this month. Get ready. This old crack house, it's almost done. It's almost done? I've got a whole bunch of video. It's going to be like freaking half an hour, 45 minutes long. I have been watching this secretly off stream. But anyways, y'all guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy my content. Catch you guys next time.